Hello and welcome to Morbid Crime Stories. If you enjoy our stories, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We would love to hear what you thought about this story, so please leave your comments below. Thank you and enjoy. <laughs> Behind the Headlines The Chilling Tale of Zachary Davis, the Sledgehammer Killer Delve into the chilling narrative of Zachary Davis, known infamously as the Sledgehammer Killer, in Behind the Headlines. This piece immerses true crime enthusiasts in the intriguing and dark tale of Zachary Davis, a story that captivates with its poignant details, shocking events, and the enigmatic persona behind the crimes. Join us as we uncover the riveting story of Zachary Davis, appealing to your curiosity in the realm of true crime and providing unique insights into this compelling and mysterious case. Many who knew Zachary Davis before the events that would label him as the sledgehammer killer saw him as nothing out of the ordinary. To neighbors and acquaintances, Zachary appeared as your average teenager, perhaps a bit introverted but nothing that would hint at the darkness lurking within. His presence in the community was unremarkable. He was neither the star athlete nor the class valedictorian, simply blending into the fabric of suburban life. However, Beneath this facade of normalcy were signs that not everything was as it seemed. Reports from those close to him suggested that Zachary was grappling with more than the usual teenage angst. There were whispers of odd behavior, a withdrawn disposition, and a noticeable change in demeanor that caused some concern, yet these signs were dismissed or overlooked. Some text goes here what truly went unnoticed in the life of Zachary Davis before it was too late. Some text goes here. Zachary Davis's early years were seemingly uneventful, but the seeds of his future actions may have been sown during this critical period. Born into a seemingly normal family, Zachary's childhood was marked by the tragic death of his father, an event that had a profound effect on him. The loss sent him spiraling into a deep depression, which was the first indication that his mental state was precarious. Despite these challenges, there were no immediate signs that Zachary was on a path to violence. Teachers and classmates recalled him as quiet and reserved. It was only in hindsight that they began to piece together a different picture, one where Zachary's silent struggles were a prelude to the horrors he would later commit. His childhood, while outwardly ordinary, may have been riddled with unseen turmoil that contributed to his descent into infamy. The tranquility of a typical family home in Hendersonville, Tennessee was shattered on a night that would forever be etched in the town's memory. Zachary Davis, then only 15 years old, executed a plan with chilling precision that would end in tragedy. Armed with a sledgehammer, he bludgeoned his mother to death as she slept, displaying a level of brutality that was as shocking as it was inexplicable. After the murder, Zachary attempted to set the house on fire, hoping to kill his brother in the process. The fire, which he started with gasoline and whiskey, failed to spread, and his brother survived. These actions marked a disturbing and irreversible change in Zachary's life. The community reeled in horror as the details of that night emerged, trying to comprehend how a young boy could commit such a heinous act. The sledgehammer used by Zachary Davis was not a random tool picked in haste but a deliberate choice for its destructive potential. This heavy, blunt instrument is typically used for breaking through hard materials, which only underscores the sheer brutality of Zachary's actions. The fact that he chose such a weapon suggests a level of premeditation and a desire to inflict maximum damage. The use of a sledgehammer in the murder of his mother added a layer of horror to the already gruesome act and left the community grappling with many questions about Zachary's state of mind. It's a stark reminder that the instruments of everyday work can become tools of violence in the wrong hands. The image of a sledgehammer, once a symbol of construction and labor, in this case, became an emblem of destruction and death. When Zachary Davis stepped into the courtroom, the gravity of his actions came into full view. The legal proceedings were a pivotal moment in the case, providing a public stage for the details of the crime to unfold. Zachary, showing little emotion, faced the charges against him, including first-degree murder and attempted murder. During the trial, the defense argued that Zachary's untreated mental illness was a significant factor in the crime suggesting that he was not fully responsible for his actions. However, the prosecution pointed to the premeditated nature of the murder, emphasizing the calculated manner in which Zachary had carried out the act. 
The courtroom became the arena where the contrasting narratives of a disturbed youth and a cold-blooded killer were debated, leaving it up to the jury to decide Zachary Davis's fate. Zachary Davis's confession to the gruesome murder of his mother was as disturbing as it was revealing. His admission came with a chilling calmness and a smirk that would haunt those who witnessed it. He described the events with a detachment that seemed almost inhuman, offering a glimpse into his troubled psyche. The confession, presented in court, became a crucial piece of evidence. It not only detailed the crime but also exposed Zachary's mindset at the time of the murder. The defense highlighted his mental health issues, arguing that his judgment was clouded by psychosis. Despite the argument that his condition may have impeded his ability to premeditate the crime, the confession painted a different picture, one where Zachary understood the consequences of his actions. As the court listened to his words, the room was left to grapple with the unsettling reality of a young man who had committed an unfathomable act. What did you think of our story? Please let us know by leaving your comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch our other videos. Thank you. <laughs>